So I really want to share about my first ever experience doing what is known as the money pile game, which was for an event called the collaboration incubator that I co-hosted with three others in Berlin at the start of May, 2019. Uh, now, maybe it would have been something better to do to book this date in advance because we we're all such busy systems artists and uh and we got quite lucky you know to spontaneously find a day that did work for all of us before um going our separate ways for summer and to wait too long i think could have ruined a lot of benefit of this game but in fact having some time to digest the experience really helped as well so a little bit about what is money pile this is a game for doing your accounts and I mean, gamification is, is a big trend and say what you like about it, but to have fun doing something as tedious as accounting, as um, triggering of our money issues, as money, <laughs> um, I, I mean, it can often draw a line between people. And I experienced the total opposite doing this game. It's partly gift economy and fully celebration according to the dragon dreaming methodology where a team comes together to reflect and consider what could be improved and what worked well and it really encapsulated all three so we met at a cafe on a warm day under the shade of a tree sitting outdoors and ordered drinks and made a quick decision okay when we're putting together the expenses, let's also add the drinks, you know, <laughs> this is covered by the event. Um, and already there was a sense of abundance and ease. So looking at what we raised from the participants' contributions and then dividing um, or subtracting all of the expenses from that, we worked with the figure of what we had left. And the game is to have that figure and then go around one by one in a circle considering something that we are grateful for and what that's worth to us and write that number on a tiny piece of paper, rip it up and give it to maybe one of the other co-hosts or to somebody else to find a way to them or to mother nature or the venue hosts for doing more than they needed to or any number of, um, entity that helped to create that event to really be as awesome as it was. And you can also, well, I think the first round we go around and give until all the money from the pot is gone. So with every offering you take out the figure and then the pile is done. And then we can go around and move money. And you can be as cheeky as you want and take money from something else and say, I really didn't appreciate when you did this. So I want to take that back from you. And somebody who might have resolved that situation for me or someone who I feel embodied what I would rather see happen. I want to give your, what I've confiscated from you to them, which happened to me. Um, actually I, I had, offered a gesture to one of the participants and then my co-host said actually I really didn't like their attitude afterwards and lack of responsibility and so I felt that I want to give this to you Naomi because what you did helped to bridge that gap and I felt myself being honored for things that I didn't realize were valuable to a team necessarily, let alone something that I would put on my CV and say, this is what I do. Uh, this is what you're hiring me for. For instance, one of the guys gave me 77 euros for being in charge of the playlist one time. He said he really appreciated the music that I put on and it, it got him in a good space. And I gave some euros uh, at the end to another collaborator, I said, here's 20 euros because your appreciations have been really poetic and moving. And here's an extra 10 euro tip 
for taking me to the lake after we had a pre-workshop planning session. So little things like that, that actually made the experience worthwhile. And you keep going until all of the appreciations and concerns or even um, in terms of radical honesty, resentments have been expressed. So the money keeps going over and over again. And something that really stood out for me was when one of these co-hosts who I had appreciated for his appreciation took a 40 euro piece of paper he had received, ripped it up, got four new pieces of paper with 10 euros and delegated them 10 euros to each of us and himself to represent that this money keeps going around that we are doing things which support the flow of currency and that things do come back to us. I feel so transformed from this experience, laughing in my own head, thinking if someone walked up to us and said, what are you doing here? And I could say, we're doing our accounts and we're sitting there laughing on the verge of tears. I mean, this is embodying the new economy. And I didn't realize until this process what my contribution really was to the incubator. And I'm starting to get a big idea that where I nourish my own being, where I'm responsible for my self-care and how I show up, following what brings me joy and pleasure, that becomes contagious. That becomes the thing that makes a difference for the others who I'm working with and those who I'm serving by hosting that event. It's really worth trying. So I encourage you to seek any opportunity when you next get a chance to set your budget to do something with people. Decide to do a money pile instead of in the advance saying, this is what my services are worth you're going to have to charge me and then working and working to the point where you feel, okay, I can actually deserve what I'm charging out. No, bring what you want to bring and then ask people what they appreciated about it. It will always surprise you.